After almost two weeks of hiking in El Chalten and finishing the Huomul circuit in the previous episode, we use this episode to check out the popular Perito Moreno glacier and we get to know the adventurers from Petal South, who drove all the way down to Patagonia on their bikes. Good morning from El Calafate. We're at the Perito Moreno Glacier today in the national park called Los Glaciares. So we're gonna show you the big glacier and pieces of ice falling off the glacier. We're standing right in front of the Perito Moreno Glacier, which has about 55 to 60 meters here. It was actually connected to this little peninsula here about two weeks ago. And this is what you still see, the ice came all onto this land. And then it built kind of an ice bridge which just collapsed two weeks ago here. And then the one side of the lake got damped. And it was 10 meters higher than the other side of the lake, Lago Argentino, and the pressure made this bridge collapse and this happens every four years here. Between hiking adventures and glaciers, we met the four guys from Pedal South after finishing the Carretera Austral and used the chance to get to know their travel story and impression of Patagonia. Pedal South is a team of four guys, four storytellers. We are cycling from Alaska to Argentina and making a film about our ride and not just about our own journey, but really trying to focus on the interviews of people that we meet along the way. So people that we meet as a result of the bike most of the time, which is kind of an interesting way of traveling. Living on a bike is different. The way that you interact with people, the way you meet people, it's just a conversation starter and you know, people are, are interested or impressed or they think you're crazy, but any, any, how they, any how they do it, they come up and they talk to you. It's just a good way to hop right into people's lives. I've been on the road for a year and a half now, or more, 20 months, and we've been on all kinds of highways and all kinds of different roads and different riding conditions, and I'd say we really haven't seen anything like the Carter Austral since our first couple weeks in Alaska. The very top of Alaska is super remote, um, tundra, nothing but bears and whatnot. And this is the first place where I've really been reminded of that, both in its desolateness and also just like raw beauty. Yeah, look at that. There's no power lines. That's something that you, you'll see something so incredible. And it's and something that. I didn't expect is every day there's a different kind of geography, a different just breathtaking landscape. It's totally fresh every single day. And the road, you never know, it's total it's such an adventure. The road is just gravel one day, rocks the next day, perfect smooth pavement the next day. It's just every day is a surprise and it's been it's like this is really I mean if I could I would ride something like this every day of the trip. And obviously it's it's like this is a dream. For me, Patagonia is, is many things, but one that really stands out to me is how it's unnamed. A lot of it, I remember this guy pointing at a mountain to us in the first kind of week we were here, and he said, look at that mountain. There's no name. It has no name. That mountain is just a mountain. And I was blown away by that because we're so, we just naturally assume that everything is owned and labeled and, and you know, 
documented. And so to be in a place that is just so raw and, and kind of dangerous and, and unexplored that, that there are spots unnamed and unclaimed and it seems like they're still kind of defying humans taking over the planet or something. I, I really, that, that blew me away. And I'm just fortunate enough to be here to witness a part of it. And that's scary at times, because there's, there's times with the wind, with the weather, with the rain coming down. Um, here, not so much the animals, but you just kind of think, like, man, this, this place is tough, and life is not guaranteed. And, and something about that makes it super beautiful. We are going back to the Chilean side of Patagonia in the upcoming episode, where we hike the full 8-day circuit in Torres del Paine. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel for new travel videos every Thursday, check out my travel and hiking guides as well as Kristen's articles if you want to explore this beautiful region as well. See you next time! So for me, Patagonia... Patagonia? That's what we got. Oh, that's pretty cool. Cha-cha!